It's time to defy gravity and go somewhere over the rainbow. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're pitting 1939's The Wizard of Oz against the Broadway blockbuster Wicked. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Both of these adaptations stem from the Oz book series by L. Frank Baum. But which stands out as the most charming, timeless, and important musical? Let's click our heels together three times and find out. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Round 1. Plot The Wizard of Oz centers on Dorothy Gale a Kansas girl who swept away to the land of Oz with her dog Toto. On a journey to see the wonderful wizard, Dorothy encounters allies such as Glinda the Good Witch and villains like the Wicked Witch of the West. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too! <laughs> the film has no shortage of memorable moments, from Dorothy following the yellow brick road, to the Wicked Witch melting, to the revelation that the all-powerful wizard is all smoke and mirrors. Who are you? Oh, I, I, I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. You are? Uh, I yes. don't believe you. This story is iconic and has inspired so many parodies that you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who doesn't know this story by heart. Perry, I don't think we're in Danville anymore. You're in Patchkin land. We're Patchkins. And we welcome you because Little Witch Susie was a last Now she squished under a house. I'm all right. Based on Gregory Maguire's 1995 novel, Wicked initially picks up after the Wicked Witch's supposed demise. Glinda proceeds to reminisce about how she was once friends with the Wicked Witch, whose real name is Alphaba. We're just two friends, two good friends, two best friends. Sharing one wonderful one short. The wizard will see you now! Yeah! It's revealed that Alphaba was actually a gifted, strong-willed, and progressive magic user, but others persecuted her for having green skin. Alfie! Alfie! Come on, we'll be late for Wizomania. I want to remember this moment, always. Nobody's staring. Nobody's pointing. For the first time, I'm somewhere where I belong. Wicked pulls back the Emerald Curtain, allowing us to see a legendary villain in a whole new light. While Dorothy never makes a physical appearance on stage, there are several integral references to her story. According to the Time Dragon Clock, the melting occurred at the 13th hour, the direct result of a bucket of water thrown by a female child. Yes! The Wicked Witch of the West is dead! That being said, to fully appreciate Wicked, you almost need to see The Wizard of Oz first. In many respects, Wicked has more layers on a storytelling level, but it's basically an alternative version of the 1939 film. Unless you've seen The Wizard of Oz, several twists and plot points in Wicked will likely go over your head. Oh, I'd never show it! I'd be so happy I could melt! <laughs> Although the movie's plot is more straightforward, it provided the blueprint for Wicked and is easier for all audiences to grasp. It's always best to start at the beginning, and all you do is follow the yellow brick road. Winner, The Wizard of Oz. Round 2. Characters The characters in The Wizard of Oz are among the most recognizable and beloved in any medium. We root for the lovable Dorothy with every step she takes, but it's the supporting cast that really steals the show here. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Between the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Cowardly Lion, it's almost impossible to single out a favorite character. Even the bit players like the Munchkins, Talking Trees, and Flying Monkeys are eternally ingrained in our memories. Take special care of those ruby stickers. I want those most of all. Now fly! Then there's the Wicked Witch of the West, who might not be the most fleshed out villainous in cinema, but still dominates the screen with her dastardly demeanor and menacing cackle. <laughs> Humanizing well known villains has become a popular trend in recent years, and you could argue that this started with Wicked. 
We not only get to see a more complex side of the Wicked Witch, but Glinda as well. While Glinda, or Galinda for part of the musical, is still portrayed as kind-hearted, she can also be selfish and emotionally conflicted. Don't be offended by my frank analysis. Think of it as personality dialysis. Now that I've chosen to become a palacist or an advisor, there's nobody wiser now when it comes to popular. I know about popular. Through their friendship, Alphaba and Glinda come to acknowledge their flaws, changing them both for the better. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for the In addition to other familiar characters like the wizard, the musical also introduces us to a hunky prince named Fiero and a munchkin named Bach, who have ties to the Scarecrow and Tin Man, respectively. Wicked is arguably the more character-driven tale with two multifaceted heroines at its core. Alphaba and Glinda are by far the MVPs, however, easily upstaging the supporting cast. In The Wizard of Oz, every member of the ensemble is a standout, whether their role is major or minor. Plus, the characters in Wicked are even more intriguing if you're familiar with their previous incarnations. Here's Carol, wanna play ball? <laughs> Winner, The Wizard of Oz. Round 3, Themes and Morals. The messages in The Wizard of Oz are simple, but meaningful nonetheless. Each character seeks out the wizard for a different reason, with Scarecrow wanting a brain, the Tin Man desiring a heart, and the Cowardly Lion yearning for courage. Why don't you come along with us? We're on our way to see the wizard now, to get him a heart. And him a brain. I'm sure he could give you some courage. In the end, this trio discovers that they were never incomplete to begin with, demonstrating brains, heart, and courage by aiding Dorothy. Therefore, for meritorious conduct, extraordinary valor, conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you the Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Speaking of Dorothy, she not only walks away from her journey as a stronger person, but also a wiser one. Although running away from your problems may sound tempting, Dorothy learns to appreciate her life in Kansas and that there's no place like home. The story may be set in a world of fantasy, but the prejudice Alphaba endures feels all too real and pertinent in today's world. Winnie Holtzman's book also provides insightful commentary regarding corruption in government. Throughout history, the public has often been inclined to believe whatever political leaders and the media tells them. But it's all just smoke and mirrors, and that's the truth. The truth is not a thing of fact or reason. The truth is just what everyone agrees on. The truth can sometimes get distorted, however, and there are two sides to every story. Nate. I hear she lives with flying monkeys. If you throw water on her, she melts. I hear she's so friendly, so good. She's the most popular girl in Oz. Everything you've heard isn't true. You may be surprised who's good and who's wicked. If we're quick to judge everyone based on their appearance and rumors, a witch hunt can quickly escalate. The themes in Wicked aren't just profound, but surprisingly relevant. Pause getting your dreams. It's strange, but it seems a little, well, complicated. Both of these musicals have deep morals audiences can take to heart. Where The Wizard of Oz is about finding strength within yourself, though, Wicked encourages society as a whole to strive towards being more understanding. Its themes are applicable to viewers young and old, mirroring our reality through a magical lens. Winner, Wicked. Round four, music. Over the Rainbow might be the most famous ballad in all of popular culture. Somewhere 
In addition to winning the Academy Award for Best Original Song, it also topped the American Film Institute's 100 Years 100 Songs countdown. Of course, this film is full of perennial show tunes, including Ding Dong the Witch is Dead, If I Only Had a Brain, and The Merry Old Land of Oz. Have you ever noticed, though, that the movie essentially drops the musical angle after our heroes first encounter the wizard? The third act was originally meant to feature a musical number entitled The Jitterbug and an Over the Rainbow reprise. But these songs were ultimately left on the cutting room floor. With music and lyrics by the great Steven Schwartz, Wicked has become one of the most celebrated shows on Broadway. Defying Gravity is considered by most to be the soundtrack's quintessential showstopper, evolving into an uplifting power ballad that speaks to misfits everywhere. To those who ground me, take a message back. The track list carries a wide range of different harmonies, from the toe-tapping dancing through life, to the seductive as long as you're mine, to the bittersweet for good. I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share, and none of it seems to matter anymore. Listen to these tunes over and over again without growing tired of them. Most importantly, each song here serves a purpose in conveying the emotions of our characters and progressing the story. The songs in The Wizard of Oz are better known to mainstream audiences, but the film interestingly doesn't have as many musical numbers as one might expect. Wicked, on the other hand, is a musical from start to finish, with every infectious song contributing to the plot. It's a close call. But Wicked will melt any music lover's heart. That's the girl he chose. And heaven knows I'm not that girl. Winner, Wicked. Round 5. Legacy and Cultural Impact Believe it or not, The Wizard of Oz wasn't a huge financial success upon release barely recouping its production budget. Nevertheless, that didn't stop the film from earning widespread critical acclaim and an Oscar nomination for Best Picture. Through television broadcasts and theatrical re-releases, more audiences began to discover what a treasure the film truly was over time. That Satan air of several fair in the merry old land of Oz. Passed down from generation to generation, the Wizard of Oz has secured its status as one of the greatest movies of all time, with quotable dialogue, immortal songs, enchanting characters, technicolor imagery, and fantastical settings. The film has also been cited as a possible source of inspiration for numerous other cinematic landmarks that followed, including Star Wars. Wicked had its fair share of production problems and received mixed reviews upon release. Like The Wizard of Oz, however, it would eventually overcome the odds, winning a Grammy, three Tonys, and six Drama Desk Awards, including one for Outstanding Musical. And the 2004 Tony for Best Leading Actress in a Musical goes to... Adina, Adina Menzel Wicked! Since premiering in 2003, it's broken numerous box office records, grossing over $1 billion, with a B and has reigned as one of Broadway's most long-running shows. Few modern stage musicals have received as much attention in pop culture, being referenced in everything from Glee to The Simpsons. Glinda, Madam Morrible, Flying Monkeys there, can you tell me how I can get back to my bar? Its themes of friendship, acceptance, and villains turned heroes have also been further explored in other projects like Frozen. Both of these musicals will forever be remembered as classics, but one will always live in the other's shadow. I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world! What a world! Wicked probably wouldn't even exist if it weren't for the MGM film's impact. The Wizard of Oz has a legacy unlike any other, and as wonderful as Wicked is, nothing else can quite fill its ruby slippers. There's no place like home. 
There's no place like home. Winner, The Wizard of Oz. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.